Hello and welcome to my channel. The topic for today's presentation is Introduction to Gene Therapy. Now what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is a technique which is used for correcting defective or missing genes that cause a disease. This technique is performed by inserting a correctly functioning gene into the cells of the patient so that the cells will regain their proper function. This technique is applied either to the germ cells or to the somatic cells, but because of the ethical reasons, the latter is preferred. Now the procedure for gene therapy is as follows. Let us consider this patient as the one which has a genetic defect in a particular cell. These cells with the genetic defect are isolated and cultured in a petri plate in a lab. Simultaneously, Viruses which are capable of infecting these cells are cultured in another petri plate. These viruses are then altered with the introduction of the functional gene. Once these viruses become altered, they are allowed to infect these defective cultured cells. These defective cultured cells upon infection become transformed with the functional gene and are reintroduced into the patient. As a result, the transformed cells now produce the desired hormone or protein in the body. The best example of gene therapy is the correction of ADA deficiency. ADA refers to an enzyme adenosine deaminase which is responsible for purine synthesis in lymphocytes. So this means ADA deficiency is lack of purine synthesis in lymphocytes. This defect can be corrected by bone marrow transplantation, enzyme replacement therapy and gene therapy. Since bone marrow transplantation can result in host graft rejection and enzyme replacement therapy is temporary, that is, it is to be periodically performed, gene therapy is preferred. Now the procedure is same. If this is the patient in which ADA deficiency is present, then the lymphocytes with ADA deficiency are isolated and cultured in lab. Simultaneously, viruses that are capable of infecting these lymphocytes are cultured in another petri plate. These viruses are then altered with the introduction of functional ADA gene and then they are allowed to infect defective lymphocytes. These defective lymphocytes, when become transformed with functional ADA gene, are reintroduced into the patient. As a result, the transformed lymphocytes now produce functional ADA enzyme. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.